Hey, it's the Sony 4K, the AX100. Rigged it up today. Here's the really quick view. Got it mounted with a uh, audio tech stereo, a PNC handheld frame, and a couple of uh, bubble levels. One's a, a real life bubble level, and the other one is a uh, electronic bubble level for us people that are challenged with horizons. So here we go, here's the fast night. The build is bigger than you think. It's got some heft. Beautiful, sharp, high pixel flip out screen. Give it top marks. Put a grid up for framing and safety hash marks. And yes, yes, completely variable, adjustable zebra. Holy cow, Batman. The Sony 4K baby cam records 4K or high bit rate 2K. You gotta have the XD XC card if you want to record the uh, 4K. You're locked out of anything but ABC HD if you use an SDHC card. It's just not fast enough. The impact wide angle 62 millimeter adapter, it's a screw on, but it's wide angle. It'll vignette if you use a UV filter, so it's got to go on naked. It's not a zoom through. Uh, the tiniest zoom, and you get massive vignette and softness, softness around the edges. But for 89 bucks, as a wide angle, true just wide angle, put it on adapter, it's workable, tiny bit of barrel distortion. We've got to hope Sony soon sells a directly compatible wide angle zoom through wide angle conversion, like Canon did with their G series. Even though it was like three or four hundred bucks, it was a very good zoom through wide angle. The menu system is quick, responsive, just enough good quick buttons to get by all over the camera body. All the manual controls of everything we loved on our full broadcast cameras, if you're a news guy like I. Uh, full auto or full manual or partial manual control of gain, shutter, iris. Auto exposure adjustment means you can tell it to consistently underexpose for safety. Automatic for run and gun shoots, uh, I set it just slightly under. Hey, set it for minus three dB gain and it stays there if you want. Uh, there's a lot of gain built into this puppy. You can really crank it up and it looks clean, much cleaner than I expected. At much higher levels than any other baby cams I have run since sort of departing from my giant, uh, massively expensive broadcast gear. The larger sensor means, yes, the bokeh, the selective focus, is indeed closer to DSLR beauty. Um, as a 5D2 and 5D3 owner, um, I love that bokeh. The rack focuses are as easy as touching the screen. Very accurate, very quick. The steady shot is helpful, but it won't amaze you. The heavier setting will jerk around as you do walkie movement but it is a very usable thing to have on board, especially if your zooms and tripod stuff aren't always uh, you know, perfectly smooth. The zoom is very usable. Further in and cleaner uh, until you hit the dregs of digital. I mean, seriously, you can really zoom in. What they're saying about this clean zoom is true. It, you'll be surprised how much more like a broadcast 18 times it feels like you've got rather than a 10 or 12 times baby cam zoom with useless digital. No onboard memory. A 32 gig SDHC card will record 2K for three plus hours. And if you do a 64 gig SDXC card, I imagine you're going to have uh, six hours uh, uh, if you're shooting just plain old 2K. Just a single card slot. Buy the largest Sony battery too, the V100. It's 89 bucks. Get the genuine Sony. My full charge reading today, and this is a new rig with it, that says 6.5 hours ready to go. It really is a great battery. Do not buy them on eBay. It was all the same serial numbers and they've just slammed in any batteries inside. So get genuine Sony batteries, seriously. So first impressions are, wow, a very solid baby cam, really clean gain, very low power draw, high bitrate recording at 4K or 2K, full manual controls in all the ways that need to rock, the audio input checks out and records great manual or auto rig so you don't have to be reaching up and banging the camera every time you start recording. It uses the multi-AV connector. Your Lank or old Sony remote zoom is worthless. So much good stuff for consumer price. The only thing bugging me is the lack of a zoom through wide angle conversion lens. Run and gun stuff, this is a wiser choice. I see this Sony entry into large sensor, low cost, fully manual abilities, a very cool beginning for this price point. Pow, that's it, good luck.